Louisiana, and uh, I'm living in China now. I try to study Chinese language, and uh, congratulations to me. I manage to speak three for now, which means some basic Chinese I already can speak. But what is in HSK three? HSK three books already don't have pinyin, so they're only Chinese characters. For me, most important in Chinese language first, this is remember Chinese characters. It's really difficult. And the second is uh, Chinese tones. In uh, Mandarin, they have uh, four Chinese tones. If you say the wrong tone, so the meaning of the word will be different. So HSK3, you already read all the dialogues without any pinyin. That's how it looks pinyin. You know, a lot of Chinese ask me, oh, you live in China so long, and how possible you still can't speak Chinese? What I want to say, guys, in my own country, also a lot of Chinese, and they living there and also can't speak our country's language. Because, you know, every people, they have own uh, possibility to learn something new. The Chinese is one of the hardest language, not for speaking, for reading. Now it's good, uh, Chinese, they have pinyin, but uh, many years ago, they didn't have pinyin. You have to remember all the characters itself. So some uh, people, they couldn't read too, as me.